Hi there, it's Candy High and Cincy Family Director for Team Firefly, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use Tiny Torch. Now, Tiny Torch is a great piece of software that allows you to schedule posts um, specifically for something like an online Facebook party. This allows you to schedule all of those one hour long Facebook party posts ahead of time so that you can spend your time interacting with customers, answering questions, providing um, additional information, upselling, and doing what you do best, being a great host and a great consultant. So this is a great piece of software. So let's go ahead and get started. Now first thing, of course, you're going to want to go to tinytorch.com and sign up for the account. Now once you get back into, um, or to go back to Tiny Torch, all you do is just go to the website, so tinytorch.com, and you log yourself in. You see this will do all of the work for me. I already filled that in, but it didn't this time, so. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to Create. Now, on the creation, you're going to type in whatever post it is that you want to post. You're going to select whatever image that you want to select. I'm just going to do this last one here. Instead of, testing, instead of doing testing, I'm just going to go ahead and do a real post. Join in July for only $49 at www.candy.cincy.us. Okay. Now this, if you have a really long website link, then you can pop it in here push this button and it shortens it for you so that you don't have this long ugly link and then you can post it um, or paste it right back into your message. This is just giving you the characters so Facebook gives you 5,000 um, characters for a post. You probably don't want yours that long and then of course Twitter has its countdown here as well and you can tag those posts if you want to make it easily searchable for you later on but um, you don't have to. So we're going to go ahead and create. Now it's going to go ahead and just give you an overview of what you just did so that you have it all in one place and you can make sure everything is correct. So yes this is the message I want, this is the image that I want. Now the first thing you want to do on this screen is click collections and if you have collections started you can add which collection you want it to be added to so for example I have started a collection called live Facebook party and that's so that I don't have to retype the exact same post every time if I know it's something I'm going to be posting over and over now if you haven't done that yet, then I'll show you how to set up collections in just a moment and you can do that before you start creating. You can delete from the screen and you can edit this post from the screen if you'd like. Now after you're all done, you're going to click share. Now when I first started, I thought share meant that it was going to like automatically share on my pages, but it just means that you're going to go to the next screen. So let's click share. Now on this page, you can choose which page that you're associated with, that you're an admin of, that you would like to have this posted to. Now whenever you first create the account, it's going to ask you this information. It's going to ask you which pages that you um, are an admin of would you like to have the ability to post to. And you can choose one of your pages, like your personal profile, which will look like this. You can also choose a business page like this. And I also have a secondary um, business page for my New Zealand market right here. So you can post to any of those once you set those up when you begin your account. And so I am going to go ahead and choose my business page and then you can select a Facebook identity. So what that means is that 
I can say that I want to post as Scent with Love by Candy. And so you can do it like that. Or what it's asking you here is I do have one event that is upcoming called Sheena's Live Facebook Party. And I can choose if I want to post there. And so I can click that I want it to post um, from my profile name of Set With Love by Candy. And I want to post it to Sheena's Live Facebook Party. So that's what I'm saying that I want to do there. And I don't, I just want to post to Scent With Love, so I'm going to take off Sheena's. Or, there's my Facebook profile. Now the really cool thing about this is that any event that you are a part of will automatically populate here. So even if you are just a, um, you're not the admin, but you're just part of a specific event, like an annual turtle festival, <laughs> evidently, that I'm, um, I have that event coming up, then I can click there and automatically schedule a post in any of these events um, that I have. So if you do have an event, obviously make sure you have joined it and that will automatically populate there for you. So again, I can choose that I want to be posting as candy myself and you can choose where you want to post to. So for um, if I have a live Facebook party, I will choose that live Facebook party and get that scheduled. All right. So, oh, and then one other thing is, as you can see here, it let me choose two different things. So it said I have set it up right now where it's going to post the exact same thing in my business page and on my personal profile because I've clicked both but I can click off and just do one so you can do them more than one place as well alright so again image our message and then schedule for later you want to say yes it's the whole point is we are scheduling for later and then you get to choose when you're going to share and so you make sure of course you're going to choose the right date so let's just go ahead and choose Wednesday and it's always going to um, automatically default to about the time we're at currently. So currently as I'm making this video, it's almost 1 in the morning. I guess you know my little secret of being an at owl and working after kids go to bed. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 10 in the morning. Um, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow's Tuesday, so on Wednesday. So I'm going to say done. And I want to double check this is all correct. This is in central time, which is where I want to be. So then I'm going to schedule. So now this is going to automatically show up under my scheduled post. So now this will post on July the 8th at 10 a.m. automatically for me. Um, I can edit from this screen. So if once I've scheduled a whole bunch of posts here and I don't like um, the way one sounds or I wanted things to be in a different order then I can simply edit straight from the screen or if you just want to go ahead and send something now you can do that from the screen as well so let's go back to collections really quickly so again you can create a collection just so that you can bundle together posts so you don't have to post them over and over again. This is perfect for something like a live Facebook party. And I just have two live Facebook parties here because um, in June I completely revamped all of the posts for my Facebook party and so this is my newer one so I'll probably go ahead and delete um, this one here soon. And then I do bacon events often as well, the Become a Consultant Opportunity Night events. And so all those posts are safe for me as well, which saves me a lot of time. So here you can create your collection and you simply just title it and you create collection and it's um, there and will show up whenever you're creating a post. So that's it. Um, this gives you, this my post just gives you kind of a fun visual of all of your latest posts together. So you can see I have lots of bacon event stuff. I have um, a lot of Facebook event stuff in here. So this is kind of a fun collage of some of the things you've been posting. 
So that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And uh, good luck on your Scentsy online Facebook parties. Okay, talk soon. Bye.